Hey there, my name's Curtis Lucas and you're watching Empire Building. So it's been a little while since I've talked about Marathon. By now it's pretty well known, it's my largest holding. But a viewer of the channel who happens to live nearby their new Hardin, Montana facility that's currently being built out, took the time to actually drive out there, take some photos and share them with me. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you. But before we get into that, I do wanna thank everyone who signed up for Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and the response has been overwhelming. That kind of support is really gonna help me to focus the time I need to be able to spend to build this channel and improve the content, as well as the frequency of the videos that I am able to put out. If there's anyone else who would like to join the community, head over to Patreon. Don't get overwhelmed by all the tiers that are there. The higher tiers are mainly meant for those who really want to support this channel and allow me to do what it is I'm doing. I know not everyone out there knows how much work a YouTube channel actually takes. It's a whole lot more than just sitting in front of a camera and starting to talk. It's literally something that takes front of mind all waking hours of the day. But it's not just those on Patreon, it's everyone who watches my videos, gives them a like, leaves a comment, shares it with a friend. These are all things that help support this channel and expand that community. So whatever support you're able to provide, it is greatly appreciated. And of course, it's even better when we get to support each other. If you haven't already signed up for Webull, don't miss your opportunity to get two free stocks by clicking the link down in the description and opening your account and funding it with $100 or more. And if you're in Canada, Webull is not available, but you can use the link to sign up for Wealth Simple and get $10 for opening an account and funding it with $100 or more and making your first trade. I don't yet have anything for those in the UK, but I'm working on getting an affiliate link that could be used there as well. But now, let's get on with the video. These first pictures are actually from back in February. You can see this is still a very snow-covered site, and construction is still in its early stages. You can see they had started with some large containers that had been modified to house the miners. My guess is that these will probably be cleaned up and painted by the time they're fully assembled. You can tell it's early on in the construction because the fencing at the time was just temporary fencing put in place. This was eventually upgraded, but you can see they had quite a few number of containers that had already been assembled waiting to be built out. And if you weren't aware, yes, this facility is located directly adjacent to the coal plant that produces about 105 megawatts of power dedicated just to Mara. They're not sharing that power source with anybody else. It's exclusive to Mara. Now we're getting a little bit further along and these pictures were sent to me about a couple of weeks ago. And we can see that they've come a long way. Also, our friendly viewer managed to bring along with them a much better camera this time. So we're gonna get a lot more detail in these photos. You can see that the containers are being set on screw piles, which is a very efficient and quick way to get these things installed. It's a very modular design, so it's very efficient to set up. But you can also see that construction is very much in full swing. But obviously, yes, this is a lot more work than some people might realize. There are a lot of components, even with an exterior system like this, there's a lot of preparation that's required. This isn't something that goes up in just a couple of weeks. We can see here that the fencing along the perimeter, both all the way around the, the site has been updated. So the site's a whole lot more secure now, which is what we expected to see. There's a lot more electrical components and infrastructure, transformers all waiting to be installed, additional containers waiting to be placed, you can see pad mounts for additional transformers. You're gonna see a lot of these. This is a similar view to what we saw before back in February when it was still snow covered. You can see a lot more of the facility here itself. It is a significant size power plant. 105 megawatts is no joke. As you can see, we even have some of the containers fully completed and operational. This appears to be the intake side. Uh, the opposite, opposing end is probably the exhaust. As we saw when we were touring Hut 8 facilities, these are aligned so that you create hot aisles and cold aisles so that 
the heat exhausted from one container doesn't get sucked into another container. Some couple more that are currently being modified still. Zooming in on a couple additional transformers. A nice close-up view. You can see how those containers are actually modified by cutting the sides open and then reinforcing the structure with that wire frame. I am a big fan of these low-cost modular design systems because again you're not paying for expensive facilities that have their own air movement requirements lighting and structural footprint as well it's a whole lot faster to put up a hundred of these than it would be to house that many miners in one individual structure we'll get in to see some more angles soon a couple more couple more containers here there's a nice close-up you can see both the intake and the exhaust I'm assuming this might be the exhaust side there appears to be a filter bank located here uh, entrances to both sides I believe the door for accessing the container itself is on the other side and you can see here a line of screw piles meant to support another container close up of what I think is the exhaust side of that container and here's another one here you can see the cables they've already pulled to some of the transformer pads possibly switching cubicles again the electrical infrastructure for these facilities are substantial and those are some of the longest lead time items that they have to contend with miners are only part of the equation the electrical infrastructure takes a very long time to build out, so they have to start this stuff early. As we know, the miners are actually going to be arriving throughout the balance of 2021, so they have a lot of time, but they definitely want to be able to have all of this in place when the bulk of these miners begin to show up. But as of right now, with the amount of equipment that we already see on site, things are looking pretty good. Some additional containers. Again, it, nothing about these look very pretty right now. It actually kind of re reminds me of the video that we reviewed on SOS Limited. Uh, however, at least these ones have doors that physically close. But the fact of the matter is, yes, these things are still being built out. I'm not overly concerned about their appearance. A lot of the supporters of SOS Limited, rightfully so, defended that it doesn't matter what it looks like. It only matters that it makes money. There's a point to be had there. But I do think that over time, once the site nears its completion, we will see these things cleaned up to be made a little more presentable. Here's a view of a lot more of the work currently underway. The site grading looks a whole lot better than it did before. Uh, and again, a lot more cables. You can see the size of those things. They're carrying a lot of voltage and current. And a whole lot more containers there waiting to be modified and placed on their own footings. And we can see the large cable spools sitting here that had already been, that appears to have already been installed. This appears to be a component of the electrical infrastructure. We can see a cable tray here. It's not clear to me exactly what this, what the purpose of this particular unit is. Possibly switching cubicles or switch gears. Difficult to say. I'm not an electrical expert, but it does indicate to me that. The final product that we will be witnessing will look a whole lot more like this. So if we keep getting regular updates from our friend, we'll be sure to see more of this. More containers, more piles, more containers, more piles. You can see that they have a lot of these already prepped. It looks like this would be at least space for another two containers, possibly. It's difficult to say. Um, and from this angle, it's also hard to tell exactly how many of these are going to be used to hold up one container. It does seem a little ex excessive, but it's possible that there's actually two that sit on here facing opposite directions. We don't really know, but it does seem like an awful lot of piles. Some more electrical infrastructure waiting for more transformers. They are quite large. You can tell it's perfect scale with the person sitting next to them. If you've seen what transformers are in your local community, this is a big one. This, this is, I'm not sure of the capacity of this, but we're talking about a lot of juice here. 
nice wide angle shot. See, from here, you can again see the piles don't look like they're as close together. In fact, you can see some of this one here, there's a whole lot less holding this up. It appears to be just the four corners. Um, so I'm not sure what we were seeing in the other one. Maybe as a special type of container. Uh, not really clear, but we'll keep an eye on that. What I was getting at is that it's possible that the vantage point we were looking at was from far away looking straight down the center of these piles. So in fact, they're a lot further apart than they look. Another angle of that uh, electrical housing. Again here, yeah, this is where it's difficult to say what the space is between these piles, but who knows? Even more electrical infrastructure. Looks like they do have the, a lot of these are on site waiting to be installed. You can see that one's on a skid. So they're gonna have a whole lot more of these installed by now, what I would imagine. They were pretty clear that all the miners that had been delivered as of the beginning of March would be installed by the end of March. So this being a couple of weeks that have passed already since these pictures, I expect that they are a whole lot closer by now. This appears again to be the intake side of the container. You can kind of make out the filter racks along here and the door they use for access here. And if again, this side is the intake, then this must be the exhaust side of the container waiting to receive the weathering, the weather shielding and housing I'm assuming for the miners. I really wish we could get on site and get, a, get an actual tour of this facility. Maybe Mara will actually decide to conduct something like that. I would love to partake in it, but, but let's just keep our fingers crossed on that. And that's really all I've got. Um, however, there is one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is the actual facility uh, as shown on Google Maps. So I've even seen some people claim that this isn't even real. It's very real. Even the local newspapers made a lot of headlines over the fact that a Bitcoin mining company was coming to, to Harden to set this up. So, yes, there was a lot of support from the local community. Based on the images, a lot of what we were seeing suggests that the location of the containers are now being placed primarily around this area. Um, possibly more, but as you can see, the, the site is quite large. They've got a whole lot more space up on this end. So it's difficult to say uh, which areas are actually being occupied primarily. It could be this region over here, but maybe if Google Earth actually updates their images anytime soon, we'll get a good look at what's actually going on from a bird's eye view. But the other thing to remember here is that this facility is being completely populated with the most efficient miners that are available on the market. While it's only 105 megawatts in total capacity, that translates into over three exahash of actual mining hash rate. That combined with the lowest electrical cost that I have seen of any facility anywhere in the world, this includes China, is going to make this facility extremely profitable. But it's going to take the rest of the year to finish building this out and installing all of those miners as they are delivered. Everyone has their own investment thesis, but for me, I am going straight to the numbers, primarily speaking. For some people's investment thesis, it might weigh more heavily on environmental considerations. And for that, Many people are interested in Mara simply because its primary facility is going to be run off coal. However, that's true now, but we also know that Mara is going to expand three times the capacity of this current facility, which they haven't yet located. But like everyone, they are scouring the globe to find clean sources of power at as low a cost as they can manage. So assuming they follow through with that, then by that time, which would be by the end of Q1 of 2022, then approximately 60 to 70% of their entire mining fleet will be powered from clean resources. But if you really can't get past the fact that they're using coal, well then that choice is entirely up to you. 
Me personally, I was willing to give it a pass because like I said, I am going to focus on the numbers. And to me, it was more important that they build out quickly. And this was certainly one of the ways they were able to do that. Capitalize as quickly as possible. And then once you've done that, it buys you enough time to source cleaner sources of power and develop additional infrastructure without having to rush into something that might not be as sustainable in terms of price. In their latest company presentation, you can actually see that their average electricity cost at that facility sits at around 2.8 cents per kilowatt hour. That is remarkable. And you'd be hard pressed to find anybody with a lower electricity rate than that. From the last press release where they discussed the updates in their operations, they had announced that they expected to have all 10,300 miners installed by the end of March, at which time the company's mining fleet will consist of 12,920 miners, generating approximately 1.4 exahash per second. They also go on to remind us that an additional 4,800 miners are set to be shipped to us in April, so we can probably expect to have those installed by the end of April as well. Unlike last time, I'm not prepared to make any incredibly risky bets on anticipating any of this news. I don't know when the market's gonna to decide to price all of this in. Mara and all the other Bitcoin mining stocks have been underperforming Bitcoin for the last month or so. And I've mentioned this before, this has happened over and over and over again throughout the entire lifetime that I've been in these stocks. But sooner or later, when Bitcoin's price begins to surge and make new all-time highs again, they will begin to play catch-up. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's happened all too often. And anyone who is waiting for the price to pull back even further generally gets left in the dust. And this is why I constantly urge people to simply cost average. Take every opportunity you can get. These accumulation periods don't last forever and it certainly makes it a whole lot less painful when you always know you can just simply buy more. I reached out again to the viewer who sent me these photos and he told me that he does plan on making another trip out there in the near future. So if he's able to share those with me again, I will pass them on and we get to see what kind of progress they're making over there. And with any luck, maybe Empire Building will be able to get an invite from Marathon to actually tour those facilities once they're fully operational. Me personally, I'd be okay with actually seeing it during the construction phase, but they might actually prefer to wait until the facility's actually been completed. But with my construction background, I live for that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to these regular updates and I can't wait to see how far they've come. If you're interested in hearing more about that, then subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, smash the like button. That's all I got for this one. Now let's get back to Empire Building.